A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, I want A plus English. English. That's so much fun. English education for you and everyone. So come along. Learn some grammar. Hey. Learn a phrase. Uh -huh. Learn something new every day. Learn the A plus way. Hello, everyone, and welcome to A Plus English. I think I'm Mike, and I think I am Laura. I know you're Laura. I am. You're lovely, Laura in orange, and I'm not so lovely, Mike in blue. And we're visiting colorful Cuba. <gasps> Yay! You are dressed. I'm color in the mood. You are definitely colorful. I'm not so colorful, but I do like Cuba. It's a place I've always wanted to go, and we're going to be learning about the wonderful beaches, the wonderful buildings, and more. So much. More, but while we're on the topic of buildings, let's talk about、mm, buildings. Now we're going to be looking at buildings in Cuba, and they definitely have their own special style. But let's start closer to home. Our warm-up question is about here on our lovely island, not Cuba, Taiwan. But Taiwan. Our warm-up question is: What is special about the buildings in Taiwan? Hmm. The fact that I've been here so long, this is、yes. actually quite tricky. Okay, I think、mm -hmm. the buildings in Taiwan are special because they have a mix of modern and traditional styles. Yeah, okay. Some buildings actually have bright colors and unique designs. Temples. Yeah,、mm. and I think others have intricate details and decorations that show Taiwan's culture and history, like what you were saying, temples.、Mm. Okay, so、uh, maybe if I kind of like mention the buildings,、okay. it might ring a bell. Okay. Taipei One Hundred One. Oh, that's a special one. Yeah. yeah, Rainbow Village. There you go. That's very colorful. Where's that? I think it's. Oh, was that the one the、Taihong、artist? Taihong Fun. Yeah. It's like an old man.、Yeah. Okay. There's yeah. A, there's also a place in Taipei called Treasure Hill that has、yeah. similar old, I think, old army buildings, and they've、wow. painted them. Very beautiful. Yeah.、Okay. See, we have colorful ones here in Taiwan、we、as well. We do. There's one thing I would like to see happen in Taipei, especially more. We have all these wonderful old Japanese buildings,、oh. right? From like like a hundred years ago in in Shimen and、mm. Dadao Chung. A da lot da of them don't get the love they should、oh. get. They just kind of sit there. Some of them you even see like trees growing out of them because no one used them. I was in Vietnam just、right? a few months ago.、Ooh. They have a lot of old French buildings from around、ah. the same time. They use them. They love them. They fix them up.、They、That's what we should do. Art galleries and and restaurants and little hotels in restaurants. Them. They give them this new life、Let's、and it adds、that. so much culture and history. Come on, Taiwan, or I should say, <laughs> come on, Western Taipei. Okay, get your act together and give those Japanese buildings some love, like the president's office. It gets、mm. love, but the other ones get ignored. Anyways, let's turn <laughs> our attention to Cuba. They have a lot of old buildings there, and they have a lot of other. Wonderful stuff, and we, along with you, will be checking it out right now. Right now, visit colorful Cuba, beaches, buildings, and more. Warm-up question: What is special about the buildings in Taiwan? Cuba is an island country in the Caribbean Sea. Many tourists go to Cuba to enjoy its sunny weather all year round. Veradero Beach is a popular place to visit there. Many buildings in Cuba are famous, old, and pretty. In its capital, Havana, you can find El Capitolio. This was a government building, and now it's a school and library. All right. So yes, Cuba. It's a country. It's an island. It's a little island, but it's quite well known、mm. around the world, and it is also a beautiful part of the planet to check out. Sometime, but it is very far from here. Right. It's really far. It would take a long time to get there, but it would be worth the trip, as we will be explaining. It starts. Our article starts. Cuba is an island country in the Caribbean Sea. You could also say Cuba is an island country in the Caribbean, Caribbean. Sea. That's right. It's Pirates of the Caribbean or Pirates of the Caribbean. Depending on where you come from, 
This isn't really like a British English American no, English. No, it's not. I've heard people use both. I've used both at right, different times、right. of my life. But this is that body of water with America on the top, Mexico kind of on the side,、right. and the top of South America down at the bottom. And we have Jamaica in there. We have lots、wow. of wonderful, beautiful islands, wonderful holiday places to go. And Cuba is the biggest island in the Caribbean、mm-hmm. Sea, so it's easy to find on a map. It says many tour. Tourists go to Cuba to enjoy its sunny weather all year round. That's right. A lot of Canadians love going there. I think Germans Ooh, also、really? love going there. I don't know why, but yeah, it's very popular with tourists, especially in the winter because、mm. it's it's still hot. I want to go there. I want to be a tourist. Okay, so tourist is a person that goes to like you know other countries to have some fun, 旅客啊或者是游客 And since we mentioned this word sunny, which describes nice and beautiful weather, <laughs> I want to add some more cute and easy expressions to describe sunny weather. Oh, okay. Yeah, you could say something like the sun is shining bright today,、mm-hmm. or the weather is gorgeous. It's a perfect day to be outside, yeah. Or、um, it's a great day to soak up some sun. Ooh, Ooh. soak up the rays. Right. Yeah. yeah. Or it's a sunshiny day. Ooh, sunshiny. Or、I don't just, think I've ever said that. <laughs> I want to be a little、Sunshine. bit cute, okay? And yeah, you could just simply say the weather is just lovely today. It's a heck、lovely. of a day. There you, go. There you go. So it's a heck of a day in Cuba. It does have really nice weather almost all year long.、Mm. So that's a good reason to go there. But there are other things to do and see. And let's start with one of them. Varadero Beach is a popular place to visit Verad- there. Playa de Varadero. Varadero. I'm, I'm guessing Varadero. I guess you、mm. could say Varadero Beach is a popular place to visit there. It's probably a very famous beach. Of course, there are a few beaches in the world, right? Like Copacabana in Rio de Janeiro, that are so famous. Even if you've never been there. You'll know what we're talking about, and Veradero is in that list of world famous beaches. Yeah,、mm. so Veradero Beach is a very famous place to go in Cuba. Many people like to go there because the beach is very pretty with white sand and clear blue water, and you can do fun things like circling, scuba diving, and swimming with dolphins. Can I just lie on、I、the beach and enjoy the sun and a nice fruity drink? Oh, okay. I think yeah, that's of course what I'll be doing.、Yeah. All right. Many buildings. It says here we are on the buildings. Many buildings in Cuba are famous, old, and pretty. Oh. <gasps> Not all of、wow. them are famous or old or pretty, but many of them are a combination、mm. of being famous, old, and pretty. Yeah. They have one building. It's、mm. really not famous. It's very it's new,、not. and man, is it ugly! <laughs> But we don't talk about that one. Let's not talk about yeah, that one.、No. Actually, yeah, others in Cuba, they are they're beautiful, and they have like historic buildings that showcase the country's unique culture、yeah. and past. Yeah. yeah, so they are quite popular tourist attractions. Very, yes, we should really go there. I think we absolutely should, and of course, a lot of this will be in an old Spanish style, because、mm-hmm. Spain was the country that kind of settled Cuba long ago, and of course, many of the buildings in that area, just around the Caribbean, both in Mexico, South America, even into places like Florida,、uh-huh. are very influenced by Spain and its style. Now, let's talk about Cuba in its capital, Havana. You can find El Capitolio. This was a government building, and now. Now it's a school and library,、Ooh. so it's still being used by the people. I guess maybe they built a new government building after the revolution in the early '60s、uh, or the late '50s, and now the Capitolio, which used to be like the, the kind of Lifa、mm. UN of、uh, old Cuba,、okay. is now a school and library,、nice. so it's still being used by the people. But in a different way. Yeah, capital. Okay,、mm. the ta- capital of Taiwan is、yes. ov- obviously Taipei. It is. But what's the capital of Australia, guys?、Mm. A lot of people might say They Sydney. They do. They will. They might. No, it's Canberra. And likewise, some people might think Toronto is the capital of Canada. But、no. Mike can tell you for sure it's not. <laughs> it's Vancouver. <laughs> it no. is. No, <laughs> it's Montreal. But no, no, it's Ottawa. Ottawa. It's Ottawa, which was halfway between Toronto and Montreal, and apparently that's why they picked it. I don't know. You can also see buildings with bright colors like blue, yellow, and pink. Walking in the streets is like being in a colorful world. 
Buying new cars from other countries is hard for Cubans, so they have to use cars from the 1950s and 1960s. These are like moving museums. And as we continue, we can see. Or we can read. You can also see <laughs> buildings with bright colors like blue, yellow, and pink. Yeah, many of the cities、mm. and towns in the Caribbean area they do often decorate and paint their cities and their buildings, their houses in these wonderful colors like blue, yellow, and pink. Imagine that walking in the streets、mm. is like being in a colorful world. It's like walking through a box of crayons. Yeah, I was gonna say、Lovely. it's like you're living in a world of colors or an animated movie. Yeah, kinda, yeah. yeah actually, it's so impressive that it makes me wish to live in one of those bright colored buildings. <sighs> Wouldn't it be nice? Like I'm in the cartoon. Yeah, it's like all the building, all the cars, everything's the same color these days, yeah, right? Boring. Yeah. Why don't we have pink buildings and orange cars? It would be a much more interesting world. Anyways, buying new cars from other countries is hard. For Cubans, yeah, we won't get into the politics, but basically, Cuba and America have not been friends for a very、oh. long time.、Ooh. So, a lot of the things we have in the modern world, they cannot get them to Cuba. They cannot be sold in Cuba because America would be very upset about that. But they do keep a lot of the old things、Ooh. around. So they、That's、might not、nice. have new cars, but they have lots of old cars, which you can't find anywhere else in the world. Well,、so、I don't. Kind I don't, of like a, a living、yeah. museum. Okay, but I, I don't drive, so you oh, I don't really care. But let's find、mm-hmm. out why. Okay,、mm-hmm. all right.、It、says so they have used cars from the 1950s and 1960s. These are like moving museums. Yeah, cars、oh. that maybe your grandparents might say, "Oh, my friend used to have that." They still use them. In Cuba, and they use all sorts of clever ways to keep the engines working and stuff like that. But really, it is almost like a trip back in time. Right. So Cubans can't buy new cars because of the laws.、Mm. They have to use cars from the fifties and sixties.、Mm. So these old cars are like moving museums because、mm. they show what Cuba was like in the past.、Mm. But I. I believe that people in Cuba are proud of their old cars, even though it's hard to keep them working well. Absolutely,、yeah. but if you want to see a Studebaker rolling down the road <laughs> or a Ford Falcon 1957、mm. with the wings and the cool <laughs> lights and the push-button gearbox, you might find it there. Mm, okay, but no CD players、Uh-oh. and definitely no Wi-Fi in your taxi,、Uh-oh. so don't even ask. Okay. All right, but they might have record players. Interesting. That'd be cool. That'd be all cool. All right, guys. That's all the time. But you're going to be back with much more about、exactly. cool stuff. So don't go anywhere, or we'll find you. 大家今天有认真听到我们一些非常重要的单字吗？像是很受欢迎的 ，That's right. English 就是 popular 这个形容词。那如果口语你要说这个东西很夯、很潮、很受欢迎，你还可以用 It's very trendy or It's all the rage. Okay, so for example, an example sentence of popular would be: Popular songs always get stuck in my head. 你们有没有觉得那个那个花朵舞很受欢迎的歌曲，总是会在我的脑海中怎么样一直播放，一直播放，很洗脑哦。再看一个例句 ，Okay， 就是 Going to a popular beach during the summer is always crowded but fun. 或者是课文例句写到的 ，This restaurant is always full of people because it's popular with students. 这间餐馆永远都是满满的人，人潮哦，因为它在学生之间颇受欢迎。再来看到就是我们刚刚一直提到的 building 这个名词，也就是建筑物。那提到了建筑物，就会想到台北 One on One。Taipei One Hundred One is a famous building in Taiwan. It has one hundred and one floors. Wow, Taipei One Hundred One is a famous building in Taiwan. It has one hundred and one floors. Wow, Taipei One Hundred One is a famous building in Taiwan. It has one hundred and one floors. Wow, Taipei One Hundred One is a famous building in Taiwan. It has one hundred and one floors. Wow, Taipei One Hundred One is a famous building in Taiwan. It has one hundred and one floors. Wow, Taipei One Hundred One is a famous building in Taiwan. It has one hundred But it's exciting to meet different people. 交新朋友可能很困难，但是遇到不同的人还是令人非常开心、很兴奋的哦。看一下单词例句怎么用哦。The homework for Mr. Meben's class 
It is always really hard. I need to spend a lot of time on it. 不知道有没有念对这老师的名字 ？Maven 老师课堂出的作业总是非常困难，我需要花很多时间完成它哦。最后来看到 museum 这个名词就是博物馆。For example, the City Art Museum has many pictures. Some famous people made them. 这座城市的美术馆收藏许多画作，是一些有名的人绘制的哦。那刚刚我们是听到一个片语，就是 all year round。这个片语就是一整年，像是哇 ，ice cream is my favorite treat， and I could eat it all year round。冰淇淋是我最喜欢的点心啊，我可以一整年都吃、欸。哎，哇，今天真的是学到太多的这个实用的句子还有片语。Okay， right now let's go to review time activity。Hello, everyone, and we are back with our review time. Do you have time? I do have do you time want to review. That's of course wonderful.、Uh-huh. We are set up for success. We had four words today. I'm sure you guys all remember them, except you. You probably you. don't remember yeah. them. Yeah, pay more attention.、You're、sleeping.、Though. Popular. <laughs> I don't know who I'm pointing at. Popular building, hard ed museum. Those、yes. were the words that we learned. I don't want to make this too difficult. Or, or hard. hard, so I'm going to、mm-hmm. give you a game of opposites. Opposites. Can you be opposite? I think so. Okay, so if I say up, you say down. If I say yes, you say no. If I say banana, you say apple. Oh, what's the opposite of banana? <laughs> I, I mean, don't know. Blueberry, because、oh, it's so yummy, small. Yeah.、Mm. Anyway, that would be a hard one. But we don't have very difficult ones today. Although you might have to get a little creative, or、mm. maybe I'll have to get creative. Yes, you But do. But the first one is easy. Easy, so、mm. it's hard. It's hard. Yes, if something's difficult, it is not easy, and if it's easy, it is not hard or difficult. All right, the next one,、um, hated. 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 嗯，讨厌。那当然是相反，是受欢迎。Popular. Yeah, I guess I could say unpopular, right, which is really the opposite. But that's a little easy. Easy. Exactly.、Uh, okay, now I'm gonna have to get creative. So know, this is hard. Convenience store, huh? Convenience, convenience store. store. I'm、okay. going with convenience store. This is like a Seven 小七 like a Seven Eleven. Yeah, that's the opposite of a building or a museum.、Yeah. I th- I'd say museum. 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 Okay. Old and valuable. You cannot buy anything. Anything in a, in a convenience store is not old and not valuable, and you're not going to、ah, keep it forever and there study you go. it. Because it's a bag of cookies. That's cute. That's cute. All right, and the other one is let's see,、uh, tree. <laughs> a tree. A tree. <laughs> and of course, a tree is t- a tiny tree. It could versus, be a big tree. Okay, building. Right, because trees、say. are natural; they grow. Right, you don't. Buildings are man-made. Exactly. But you could live in either of them. What about a tree house? You could live in a tree house. There you go. That's you're adding the house.、Yeah. I'm just gonna live、okay. in the tree. Like a monkey.、Oh, good luck with. All、that. right, guys, that's all the time we have for today. But not all the time we have for <gasps> Cuba. We're going to be back with more hopefully tomorrow. And until then, adios, amigos. Adios, amiga and amigo.、Uh, ami- yeah, adios. Bye. Bye. Magic box. Ah, <sighs> 裁缝师，这边的剪裁错了，错了。哎呀，拿回去重做，啊，呼，各位真的是不好意思，一见面呢就让你们看到哭一拉我在骂人啊，没有办法，我真的是非常讲求完美的好吗？我设计的衣服啊，如果哪里不对，就要修改到完美为止，所以你就知道啊，要做一件毛大衣可是很花时间呢。Making a fur coat takes a lot of time 啊，这些蠢蛋，什么时候才能达到我的标准呢？ Okay, 
，做一件毛大衣要花很多的时间。我大可以说 ，It takes a lot of time to make a fur coat. 不过呢，你们有没有发现我刚刚用的呢？其实是另外一种句子哦。一般来说啊，我们会习惯以名词或者是代名词啊来当做句中的主词嘛。哎，不过呢，今天要讲的是不太一样的，动词呢也能成为句中的主词哦。那方法非常的简单，动词呢必须放在句首，并加上 i n g， 就会形成了动名词就可以了。例如啊，一开始举例的 making a fur coat takes a lot of time。这里呢，就是用 make 加上 i n g making 这个动名词当做主词的用法哦。而我们的重点呢、啊，就是 making a fur coat 这个动作、哦，或是这件事情。因此啊，后面的动词 take 必须要是单数型 takes。代表说啊，哎，毛大衣这件事情呢，他花了很多的时间来做哦。动词啊为单数型，这点非常的重要，同学们啊可要特别注意了。那大家都知道，哎，身为史上最恶女，库伊拉我啊，为了达到目的，我什么都做得出来哦。It is exciting to steal those dogs away. 哎，把那些狗狗偷走，嗯，真的是太刺激了。好啦，想想看，要怎么改成动名词当做主词的用法呢？ OK， 太好了，果然没有让我们失望哦。没有错，把 steal 拉到最前面，加上 i n g stealing， 哎，后面的 be 动词为单数型 is， 正确答案呢、啊、就会是 stealing those dogs away is exciting。哎，但天哪，我真的是太变态了吗 ？But you know what？ I don't care. 小朋友们，你们可不要学啊！你们可承担不起的。Doing bad things makes me feel good. 为非作歹啊，真的是让我啊太开心了。好啦，谁叫我是最恶、最呛辣的女王酷伊拉呢？<笑>